The Warriors are in desperate need of changing something up. Between their Steph, Clay, Dre core, which didn't look that good this season except for Steph, and Jordan Poole, who completely just played horrible, and that two timelines thing, the Warriors future just is not looking bright right now, and they're not even in the playoffs anymore. So what can they do? So a bit of background. Bob Myers had a strategy for this season, which is called dual timelines. That is the aging veterans timeline, which is Steph, Clay, Draymond, and the young guys, which is Kaminga, Moody, Poole, and uh, I guess you could say PBJ, I guess you could say Gary Payton, and then you had the middle timeline, which is Andrew Wiggins, and he's just, he, he's not really part of this. But yeah, they, they had a plan. This plan did not work, because the young guys want their playing time. Obviously, Kamigo wasn't played in the playoffs at all except for garbage time. And then, you also had Poole, who played about 10 times better when he started, and everyone else just played better when they had more playing time. But you want to win a championship, not develop the team, so they couldn't start the young guys. So what's the Warriors next move from here? And what does Jordan Poole have to do with it? So Jordan Poole is the center of this two timelines thing, because he's the young star that's expected to take over for Steph when Steph regresses or retires or whatever. But it's not looking like that's going to happen anymore because Jordan Poole played really badly this season. But Steph still has hope in Poole. So as long as Steph has hope, I have hope. And honestly, Steph has hope for a pretty good reason. I mean, when Jordan Poole is starting this season, he averaged 28 points per game. That's nuts, that is superstar level. And that's without Curry. And they won five of those 11 games. So not even that bad of a winning percentage without the best player in the league. Okay. And if you guys don't remember, at the start of the season, Draymond basically gave Jordan Poole a black eye. He punched him really hard on one of the first days in, in training camp. And Steve Kerr, not even two hours ago, said this about it. He said, there's no hiding from it. The incident with Draymond and Jordan at the beginning of the year played a role. There was some trust lost. So, I mean, there's upsides and downsides to having Poole on the team. One upside is that he's a great young player. He's really flashy and he just fits with what the Warriors are trying to do, which is be a big market team and win games. But at the same time, he's just very egotistical. He wants a lot of playing time. He wants to do everything. So should the Warriors re-sign him or not trade him? Cause I mean, I made a video about trading Jordan Poole and that's popping up on the screen right now. So you guys should check that one out and see why the Warriors should trade Jordan Poole.